Hello everyone and welcome back to Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. This is the Irish Android here. In the last episode we um, fought the Nightmare, the zombie version of Princess Butsam. And in today's episode we are going to um, head back to the Dream Vale Overlook. And... We're going to head to the Dream Vale Overlook and head up to the uh, next. An upturned bridge stands before you, awaiting your mighty quest. Alright, we're going to head to the Dream Vale Overlook and we are going to. Um, do the third. Mystery mirror. So let's get going. Quick sip of tea. All right. There is more here for you to triumph over if you dare. All right. So we are going to be doing this one. There's so much sadness beyond the surface. The leather. Why is there so much leather? There we go. We all want to protect those we love. Keep them close, safe. It's when you only want to keep them that's trouble. We are meant to build bridges to one another. Instead, Theodore builds defense mechanisms. Many, many defense mechanisms. Imprisoning himself and everything he loves with him. He would do anything to protect his possessions from outsiders. Forgetting that it's what's inside that counts. All right, let's do a prison break. Beyond that gate lies Theodore. Emphasis on the odor. He's the sole warden of this prison. Because he was the sole person to want that job. <laughs> I was also the best candidate. I mean, look at my gate chain. It takes multiple cannon shots to destroy those. The scent of fresh cannon fire suggests he's being literal, yes? Correct. Yeah. Yeah. He plays the fool. But he wants you to come in because no soul has ever gotten out. Until now. Are they coming to say hi or nope, they're murderers. The chains are gone. Nope. Didn't mean to do that.
There we go. Have you come to challenge me? I love a good challenge. Theodore binds everything he loves in chains, including the door to his lair. He's hidden the hooks that hold up his gate all around this prison. You'll need to break each one to reveal ever gets out of this place, I'll tell you. Yeah. He doesn't. I go out all the time! To cooler places than you've ever been! He's a prisoner, too. He just can't see it from under his giant helmet. I've hit max rank. And now that I've hit max rank, we can unlock the mythic um, levels. And they're shared! Brilliant. Open that up, then look for the other chest. Not here. I never knew mine carts were so multi purpose. They should advertise for this. Murder, I get mayhem, sure, but mine carts theft. Have you no soul? I made a return portal for you. It feels like I'm getting stronger by the second. Who opened that return portal? Is it... Yes, it is. Yep, there's the other... Chest. Brave Warren Clawbringer, finally, yeah. Your soul's gonna be a prison here for a long time. Multiple eternity. I'll throw in an extra E on, just for fun. I finally got a uh, armor just for me. Alright, let's see what this armor actually does. Uh, inventory. Regenerate per second, many crit chance, gun damage. It's 
seems you've landed in the power center of Theodore's forge. With my mind's eye, I see hammers, pistons, and burning lost souls. With my real eyes, I think I see turrets too. Do you? They're tricky to reach, but I suspect they're exactly what you need to loosen Theodore's hook in this world. That's two. Wish that current would break, but I know it won't. Curse my false taste of premium hardware. Get a straight. Just need to find the last um, red chest. I believe everyone's dead. And now you're dead, bandit. Nice. Just need to look for this final red chest. Grab these while I'm at it. There was the first one, which I didn't grab the loot from. Where's the second? Let's just go. Alright, that's two chains. <sighs> There's still another chain to break. Do I have a chain number four? Fire Deep Forge. The chains that bind lost souls to stone. 
the hooks that snatch our spirits from bone. There are forged demons in the molten heat beneath the mountains. That same heat can be used to destroy them. There must be a control mechanism to direct its flow. Find it and turn Theodore's hook into a molten metal. They're stolen now the power of the woman. Oh. Okay. Everyone's at here. Boom. <laughs> so I love it when the uh, characters just slide around like this. So stupid. Kill the doubles. Kill the skeleton. Right, there's one. Use a spring up. Got knocked all the way down. <laughs> Well, I need to find the final chest. You won't make it out of this prison alive. I see death. I just need to find the final uh, chest. Otherwise, my OCD will act up. There it is. Right, one last area to do. Then we can focus on fighting the boss himself. I say this is the quickest one out of the uh, all of the uh, areas. Theodore. 
Theodore sunk one of his hooks into this world. This place is buzzing with lost souls. He's placed crystals all around to absorb their powers. If you destroy those crystals, the lost soul's energy will be released. And with their powers free, I suspect they'll show Theodore exactly what they think of him. That's Enjoy too. that explosion. It's a good approximation of what I'm gonna do to your soul. Forever! Legendary, 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 legendary. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. and that's a Battleborn reference weapon. I just have to get a Battleborn reference. Oh no, you made the lost souls angry. What a glorious vision. Before I crack open the final crystals, let's, uh, gotcha. You made a rhyme. Right, let me pick up all this and then we'll go fight the boss. You did it. The hooks are broken. Theodore's time imprisoning us is coming to a swift end. Over my dead body! Yes, that's exactly the idea. Oh, this is exciting. The gate's open. I hope you're ready to fight. I could use another 10, 20 minutes. Actually, could you come back tomorrow? Ugh. Go through the portal when you're ready, hero. And fight. All right, Theodore. Let's go. Look at you. Slogging your way through fire for a chance to touch greatness. Like all the other lost souls, you love punishment. You live for it. Well, as the king around here, it's my duty to Shot the fist on a molten platter! This one's going to hit.
Grab this, grab this. And now to play dodgeball with missiles and energy bullets. Final things. There's a mimic. So I wanted to finish him off with the uh Thank you. Let's spin to win. Oh, two spells. This spell may be of use to me and the others beyond. Okay. And what do we get from this one? Shield. Bronco Buster. More spells? Alright, 
I think I am going to stick with the... <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to stick with this one for the time being. Right, so I've got two more spins. Let's see what we get. Okay, so I can get a mace, a hammer, a hammer, or a club. Right, so let's see what we get. Dark magic, special, special power. Wind has blown. When the Fate Maker's companion builds an enemy, the companion damage is increased by 20% for 15 seconds. This stacks up to 15 times. Yep. And I can sell everything else. Alright, well, I am going to uh, finish this episode off here, and in the next one. He will take on the Dragon Lords in the final level. So I'll see you all then. Cheerio.